Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is going to be on this neon liner look. I also used some neon eyeshadows. I really wanted to use these colors because I personally love them and I think that they are perfect for summer coming up and spring right now. I really like the way this look turned out. If you do like the way this look turned out, make sure you thumbs up this video, subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. And if you wanna know how to get this look, please keep watching and I will show you how. So first I'm going to be priming my skin with the Tarte Clean Slate Primer and I really like this because it really smooths out my skin. And for foundation today I'm going for a full coverage look so I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in natural beige. So next for concealer I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Neutralizer. It's a nice yellowy pale color that will really highlight your face and I really like the consistency of this concealer. I'm just buffing this out with a Morphe G2 brush. So to set all of that I like to use a translucent powder and here I'm using the Cody Airspun powder in Naturally Neutral and I like to dab that in places that tend to crease a lot on me like my forehead under my eyes and also my chin. So to set my entire face, I like to use the MAC Studio Fix Powder, and this is in the shade C3. And next I'm just going to move on to eyebrows. So for eyebrows today, I'm using the Wonder Brow Pencil in black slash brown. And I'm just filling them in like usual, and then I take a brow powder that's a little bit lighter and fill in the front of my brows because I kind of like it to have a gradient effect. I just really like using a powder towards the front. And to set them today, I'm using the Anastasia Brow Gel. So to start on the eyes, I'm priming my lids with the Eden Primer from Urban Decay, and I'm just buffing that out with a Real Techniques brush. So next, I'm going to pick up the eyeshadow by Makeup Geek called Mirage, and I'm just packing this onto the brow bone and bringing it down onto the lid, because this is also going to set the primer. So first, I'm going to go in with Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek, which is a beautiful warm brown shade, and I'm just putting this right into the crease, and I'm bringing it all the way in around my tear duct and blending out. I'm not being super precise about it, I'm just kind of blending it into the crease. And then I went in with Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek and I went right over that. And I'm basically what I'm doing is I'm going back and forth with these two shadows and blending them until I think they look super gradient, super blended, and super smooth. So don't be afraid to really go back and add in color where you really see it fit. So next I'm going to go in with Ice Queen by Makeup Geek and I'm packing this right onto the lid. This is a shimmery white shadow. I really wanted this to be dramatic, so I'm packing it super heavily onto that lid. So for eyeliner today, I decided to do a hot pink wing, and for this I'm using the Anastasia Waterproof Cream Color in Barbie Pink, which is a beautiful, kind of like a fuchsia pink. It has a little bit of a hint of purple in it, and I really think this is nice for summer. It's super different, and I honestly really like the way it came out. So to set that, I'm using the Morphe 12P palette, and I'm just taking a hot pink shadow and packing that right onto the wing. I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara and then some false lashes. I decided to stack some lashes because they both have really amazing qualities that I wanted to combine. One of them is very voluminous and one of them is very, very long. So I just stacked them together and then I placed them on my eyes. And going back to the eyes again, I'm using the Anastasia Waterproof Cream Color in yellow. And I'm packing this in the inner tear duct and setting that with a yellow eyeshadow from the 12P palette by Morphe. So next I'm going to go ahead and go in with another waterproof cream color. And this is in Coral Reef, which is a beautiful orange color. And I'm also going to set that again with an orange eyeshadow. So next I went in with some liner to cover up the lash band of my false lashes. And then I just added a little bit of Morocco by Makeup Geek to add a hint of warmth to this eye look. So next I'm going to line my waterline and I decided to use this black bean pencil by NYX. This is the jumbo pencil and I just wanted to add a little bit of drama to that waterline and then I went ahead and applied some mascara to my lower lashes. I'm going to be warming up the face today with this Marc Jacobs bronzer and I'm just buffing this all around my hairline and bringing it down onto my cheekbones and hollowing out my face a little bit to give a little bone structure but also a little warmth to this look. So for highlight today, I'm going to be using the Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop, one of my favorite highlights of all time, and I'm just applying this all over my face to give myself a nice summery glow. 
I like to apply this on my forehead as well as my nose, the tops of my cheekbones, and a tiny bit on my chin to just add that dewiness into the look. I also like to apply this on the brow bone to give that more of a shimmery effect. It's very summery looking and very bronzy when I add it to the brow bone, so that's why I decided to do that. For blush today, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Love Blush Blush in I Will Always Love You, which is a pretty orangey pink color and it's just so gorgeous. So for lips, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips in the color Spritz, which is a beautiful baby pink color that's very wearable that I felt that really complemented this eye look and I'm just loving the Ultra Satin Lips right now. They're so soft and I just love them so much and I love this color. Alright guys, that's it for this look. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.